Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petite. In this tutorial I will show you how to make mitered corners using a single fold bias binding. So if this is something you would like to learn, then keep on watching. To make nice neat corners using single fold bias binding, you're going to unfold one side of your binding and place it with right side facing down on top of your fabric. You're going to line up those raw edges here and you can clip them in place. Here we go, just like that. Make sure you do not stretch your bias binding, just lay it nice and flat. Once you've done this side, you're going to stop. Next, you're going to mark a seam allowance on top of your binding. So for me, because I'm going to use the crease in my bias binding as a guide and it's five millimeters, I'm going to mark five millimeters going from this edge here. So I hope you can see the edge of my fabric here. I'm going to mark from this edge here five millimeters going towards inside the binding. Just draw a line just like that. This is the crease of my binding and this is the five millimeter seam that I've just marked. So now what you have to do is to take this to the machine and we're going to stitch that side of our project going up to that corner here and then you're going to pivot your project and then stitch going towards the corner. What I like to do is to just draw my stitching line just like that. Once you've got that stitched, you're going to take that loose end and we're going to fold it at the 45 degrees angle. So you just follow that angled stitching line here. So fold it like this, press it with your fingers. Then you're going to fold the bias binding with right side facing each other on top so hold that with your finger and then bring that loose end towards the bottom and you're going to make a fold which aligns with that top edge here so this edge here and this edge here needs to be aligned you can clip that in place next you're going to stitch that side using five millimeter seam allowance or whatever seam allowance you used on this side. This is just a sample, so I'm only showing you one corner, but if you have to do multiple corners, then follow the process and just stop five millimeters from this side, then fold the bias tape and continue on the remaining sides. Next, you're going to flip the bias binding away from the fabric. You will notice that automatically the corner here is nicely shaped because of the pleat you just made. I like to hold it tightly with my finger, just like that. Then flip the entire panel over. Now we need to replicate this nice corner on this side of your project. So what you need to do is to Fold your bias binding in half and bring that folded edge just beyond the stitching line. Just like that. I'm going to clip that in place as well. So when you get to this corner, you're going to pull that bias binding flat so it lays nice and flat. You can press that with your fingers. So there is an angle here, clip that as well, then flip it over like this and do the same thing on this side. So fold your bias binding in half. Again, you're going to bring that fold just beyond the stitching line and clip that. And now, you will have to maneuver the fold so it lays nice and flat and gives you a neat finish. 
Now you're going to top stitch the bias binding on both sides very close to that edge. So to make sure the stitching line is very nice and neat on this side, you have to be very consistent throughout the seam. So as long as you stay consistent, you will notice that on both sides of your bias binding, you have a nice and neat finish and your corner is nice and flat. <laughs> 